Thanks for joining us right now at 5 o'clock, a day after Governor Ned Lamont announced his plan to end the school mask mandate. Superintendents are already thinking about what they'll do locally. And one of the big questions is how they will make that decision. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Savino spent the day talking with school leaders. He is joining us live from Hartford tonight. And Mike, what do they have to tell you about these new revelations? Well, Mark and Aaron, Certainly this has been a controversial topic and superintendents know that they're likely to face some criticism no matter what they decide. So as they make a decision, they want to hear from parents, but they're also going to talk with local health officials. Ultimately, the final decision rests with me and, and based on what's best for the district. Superintendents now have a difficult decision. Should students continue to wear a mask? Just about 24 hours ago, Governor Ned Lamont announced his plan to end the statewide mandate. Superintendents know that no matter what they decide, some parents will be unhappy. I'm kind of torn on that one. I think it's going to put districts in a precarious situation. So far, more than 12,000 people have responded to our unscientific Vote Now poll, with the majority saying, yes, it's time to end the mandate. But a lot of places that are not even, you know, re respecting that up or, you know, following the, you know, the rules or whatever, you know. So it's no big point to keep on using it. But some parents think it's still too soon. Lifting it at this earliest stage, I don't think is a good idea. I think we should go to the end of the school year. Many superintendents I talk to say that they haven't reached a decision yet, but they're already planning conversations with their school boards and local health experts. We'll be uh, consulting with our internal health and safety team, medical advisor, uh, the city health department. The Department of Public Health says it's also planning to provide guidance. It says that guidance will focus on metrics like hospitalizations and vaccination rates. We will be giving guidance to say these are the various different things that you can do, and you need to look at your community to figure out what's going to work best for you. Superintendents say they plan to make a decision soon. I don't want to keep the, the anxieties of families on either side of this issue waiting. Now, we did reach out to several other districts, including Waterbury, Bristol, and Manchester, but they either did not respond to our request or denied to do it or declined to do an interview today. Meanwhile, here in Hartford, the superintendent is planning to have a virtual town hall event to hear from parents sometime next week, but that has not been scheduled yet. Live from Hartford, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.